Hello everyone, welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. Uh, last class we have discussed about the TypeScript uh, with the uh, arrays concept and in this video we are going to understand uh, uh, how to create functions okay so with TypeScript so first of all I am going to uh, create a fresh folder for this so 11-ts-functions uh, one second I made a spelling mistake okay so let's create one type shape just say app okay so first of all what is our function so function uh, uh, is a reusable thing a reusable logic okay so which will take a set of parameters it does some process and uh, it have a, a collection of statements okay it does for some sort of processing and uh, it returns a result of it okay so you can separate application logic into a multiple functions okay you can divide the logic into multiple a piece of uh, you know functions okay and we can just call uh, a function from one file to another and uh, uh, you're, you're gonna make actual application logic okay so generally uh, this is actually a functional oriented way of programming till now we discuss I think this is the last concept for function oriented and next class we'll see the class oriented okay there we actually called as the methods but ultimately the same story okay so let's start creating a function so let's say a simple function uh, so let's create is equal to uh, you can create a normal function or function expression or arrow function uh, mostly I start with an arrow function because the, the new ES6 features so let's say let's take an arrow function so this function uh, takes a parameter name of type string so you must have to declare each parameter type and moreover you have to declare the written type also okay so if the function returns something you have to define the type if your function does not return anything you have to declare the type as void okay uh, so here let msg of type string is equal to uh, let's say hello and uh, I print the name okay so let's no written statement so I just say console.log of msg that's all a simple function okay which takes in the name it does not return anything okay so let's let's call this create I say my name okay I call this and never make name colon here while calling a function this has come uh, automatically in my web stream so never call this actually you supposed to call in uh, uh, this way for example see I have written this thing I have written this in greet of Naveen but uh, here name colon has come uh, just to give a hint this is like uh, this value is gonna be for the name uh, parameter of a function okay so that way and don't don't never make a name column by yourself okay just call straightforward value okay uh, fine now let's start with another function uh, a function returns something okay a function returns something uh, so function with return type okay so let me take a simple function so let's add function add function is equal to a simple function so this will take two parameters a of type number and b of type number and this returns also a number okay so you declare two parameters and return type also not void number it returns the result as a number so let's uh, result of type number is equal to a plus b plus a plus b some logic okay and written the result sorry it written written result okay so that's fine so now how to call this so let's output because it didn't something you have to catch with a variable okay output of type number uh, is equal to output of type number is equal to add 
function with I take 10 and 20 okay so it says cannot read declare the block scope app for js line number 5 and 5 oh but why these two are in connection is my question let me just comment everything I don't need that okay happy uh, so let output is equal to add of a number so now let's say console dot log of output okay so let's say now I can close this right click open in terminal so let's say ts node space app dot ts so you get hello Navin and 60 okay it's value so this is another function which will take written something okay now let's go for something next level so till now we have taken a function which uh, you know what uh, only takes a number type or string type so why can't you take a function with an object type yes you can take it so let's do this so function with an object type as parameter object type as parameter so let's take uh, um, let mobile I do like this let mobile of type well, I have to declare now so interface first I declare the type right so mobile okay so here uh, same regular brand uh, string color is string and the price is number like this uh, I have declared an object let me create a function which will take in uh, object type as mobile object okay so let's print uh, mobile is equal to a function so this does not return anything just declare as a void and here it will take uh, mobile object the same mobile of type capital mobile okay so what it does um, nothing much you can uh, because logic doesn't matter okay what matters is how you create a function and how you call a function okay logic can be anything okay let's say um, console dot log of um, json dot stringify of mobile so whatever you provided I just convert it to string and display okay fine so now how to call uh, first you have to create an object and call otherwise you can provide on the fly for example let's mobile one is equal to of type mobile is equal to an object so let's say brand apple color silver and uh, price 35,000 I declared an object and this object you need to provide to this function so how to provide let's say print mobile of mobile one that's all this it expects mobile type and I have to pass a mobile type it does not return only console log so let's check in terminal run the program so you get the brand color and silver okay that's fine okay or else you can even pass on the fly uh, for example you can make an object like this okay so let's say the brand uh, something called Lenovo and uh, what else uh, let's say color black and uh, price uh, let's say 15,000 okay you can even pass in this format but it's supposed to it's it must have to satisfy the rules of your array your, your object okay because it is looking for mobile type so it must have a three properties order doesn't matter but it must have a same property and same type okay so careful let me run the program again you get another object with this data okay so this is how actually you can create functions using type step okay you can even take an array as an object or as a parameter you can write some logics okay but mostly you have this type of functions 
okay so that's all about functions concept in TypeScript and let's see in the next video uh, we're gonna start with object oriented programming okay we'll see the classes interfaces uh, like polymorphism and encapsulation uh, interface uh, I mean inheritance uh, public private and not more things are there to discuss okay so we'll see object oriented in the next class thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you